In this video, we will talk about the new discovery by James Webb that proves the Big Bang did not happen. But before we begin, please like this video, subscribe, and click the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest news on this channel. Have you already liked the video? Imagine trying to build a galaxy from scratch. It's not an easy task, right? The universe took 350 million years to finally form the first galaxies, and they were just small particles compared to the massive galaxies we see today. But hold on to your cosmic hat because scientists have just made a mind-blowing discovery that is breaking all the rules. Ancient galaxies, believed to have formed only 500 million years after the Big Bang, have been detected by the innovative James Webb Space Telescope. They are challenging everything we thought we knew about the universe. With populations of tens or even hundreds of billions of stars, these cosmic giants are leaving experts like American theoretical physicist Mitchell Kako completely perplexed. Imagine these galaxies being formed very early in the history of the universe, some containing a stellar mass that is not just a few times larger than our Sun, but billions of times larger. And not only that, one of these galaxies could have a stellar mass up to 100 billion times greater than our Sun, making our own Milky Way, with its mere 60 billion times the stellar mass, seem like a cosmic lightweight. As one of the scientists involved in the project said, it's almost nothing in space. Even theoretical physicist Michel Kako believes that these new discoveries will fill enormous gaps in our knowledge, like a puzzle piece that doesn't fit. The team of astronomers that made this jaw-dropping discovery even nicknamed these stars Universe Destroyers because if they turn out to be real, our entire understanding of galaxy formation will need a major revision, questioning some of the most basic rules of cosmology. Now, have you ever wondered how the universe, which was just a tiny particle, grew to its immense size today? According to the Big Bang model, more than 13.7 billion years ago, the universe was born from an extremely hot and dense point. But what happened next to shape it into what we see now? Imagine the universe as a newborn baby, expanding at an incredible rate during its growth spurt, doubling in size over 90 times. As it grew, matter formed, and the universe cooled. Then, something magical happened. Recombination occurred where electrons combined with protons to form atoms, and the universe became transparent. But then came the Dark Ages, a period of cosmic darkness before the emergence of stars and galaxies. However, about 150 to 400 million years later, the cosmos started emerging from this darkness in a process called reionization. So, after 9 billion years after the Big Bang, our solar system came to life. But here's the mind-boggling part, these newly discovered galaxies seem to be approximately 13.5 billion years old, which means they started forming during the Dark Ages. And they are so massive that they defy 99.9% .9 of the cosmological models scientists have meticulously created. This discovery is so groundbreaking that it is forcing scientists to question their theories, revise their models, and completely reassess the scientific understanding of galaxy formation. The discovery of these billions of years old galaxies challenges everything we thought we knew about the early universe. These galaxies found shortly after the Big Bang are so massive and contain such incredible matter density that cosmologists are scratching their heads in astonishment. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole except that this peg is made of a material we don't fully understand, dark matter. But that's not all. Recent studies on our own galaxy, the Milky Way, have revealed shocking discoveries. Some parts of the Milky Way formed only 800 million years after the Big Bang, much earlier than previously thought. Astronomers used research on hundreds of thousands of stars to piece together the puzzle of our galaxy's formation, and the results are both fascinating and puzzling at the same time. The history of the Milky Way is a complete tapestry of events. The inner disk, which includes our Sun and is younger, formed about 13 million years after the Big Bang, 
just 800 million years later. The older and thicker disk, which extends further, likely started forming even earlier. But that's not all. The inner halo, another component of our galaxy, emerged after a merger with another galaxy called the Gaia Enceladus Galaxy, between 8 and 11 billion years ago. It's a story that's almost rewriting our understanding of the universe's history. However, these discoveries come with a catch. The magnitudes and characteristics of these galaxies are challenging our current understanding of cosmology. The matter density and the discrepancy between the amount of normal matter and dark matter in their halos are leaving scientists perplexed and even concerned. The research team has diligently searched for errors in their work, but the data and their interpretations remain solid. The idea of rewriting all the history in science books is daunting, and researchers are grappling with the possibility that our knowledge of the universe might be profoundly wrong. Have we made a human error in our calculations, or are we on the verge of a major paradigm shift in our understanding of the cosmos? These discoveries certainly raise more questions than answers, and scientists are eagerly investigating the mysteries of the universe in the hope of unraveling its secrets and shedding light on the enigmatic origins of our existence. Even before this latest mind-blowing discovery challenged our imagination. In the past, the web stumbled upon the oldest galaxy ever seen in the universe, known as Z13 class. Can you believe this galaxy dates back an astonishing 300 million years after the Big Bang, totaling over 13 billion years? This incomprehensible revelation has left astronomers reeling, as it has the potential to completely rewrite the early chapters of cosmic history as we know it. But Z13 is no ordinary galaxy. Despite its jaw-dropping age, it possesses a mass that surpasses 1 billion suns. However, it is actually smaller in size compared to our own Milky Way. Yes, cosmic citizens of our solar system, scientists also stumbled upon another ancient galaxy, Class 11, located nearby. It is approximately the same age as Z13 and made headlines in 2016 when astronomers detected it using the NASA Hubble Space Telescope. GNZ11 formed only 400 million years after the Big Bang, making it 13.4 billion years old. It is 25 times smaller than the Milky Way, with just 1% of our galaxy's mass. But what is truly astonishing is that GNZ11 is a star-forming powerhouse, producing new stars at a rate 20 times greater than our own galaxy during its early stages. The use of infrared is significant because it allows telescopes to detect light that has traveled vast distances over billions of years, reaching Earth with longer wavelengths due to the expansion of space-time. This phenomenon is known as redshift, where the color of light shifts towards red as it traverses through space. Redshift refers to the observation that light from distant galaxies appears slightly redder than when it was emitted. This occurs because the empty space between us and the galaxies is not stationary but rather expanding, causing galaxies to move away from us. This revelation transformed our understanding of galactic motion, as it's not galaxies racing through space but rather space itself expanding. The faster a galaxy moves away from us, the greater the value of its redshift, indicating a larger distance and the greater extent of light. By studying redshift, astronomers can journey back in time to the early stages of the universe when stars first emitted light that has since been redshifted into the infrared part of the spectrum. Now that you have a better understanding of these terminologies, let's move on to another incredible revelation. The JWST confirmed distance estimates for four galaxies, and guess what? One of them has an astonishing redshift value of 13.2 implying that we are seeing the galaxy as it was 320 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers are ecstatic, with Professor Oates from the University of Leicester in England stating, we've been waiting decades for this. It's incomprehensible to think that galaxies can emerge from nothing to form fully-fledged systems in cosmic timescales. However, 
as with any revolutionary discovery, there's a catch. Few galaxies with higher redshifts are as fortunate as JGS-130. The Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Team, led by Thinklisting, thought they stumbled upon a galaxy with a redshift of 16.4, a mere 240 million years after the Big Bang. However, it turned out to be an imposter, discovered to have a redshift of 4.9, still impressive, but not a record-breaker. This serves to show that even the slightest error in the field of astronomy can result in completely different consequences. Despite the obstacles and occasional setbacks, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to expand our understanding of the early cosmos. Some scholars suggest that galaxy formation may have begun at a redshift of 20, a mere 180 million years after the Big Bang, questioning our current understanding of the universe. The JWST's ability to see further back in time than previously thought possible is yielding results, and astronomers are already presenting plans for the next cycle of scientific observations. So, did the Big Bang really happen? Leave your opinion in the comments below, and until the next video, take care.